Welcome to a brand new video. My name is Deanna Lynn and my purpose is to guide you in architecting a brand new reality by shifting your internal experience. So I want to talk today about judgment and how I see it actually is correlated with boundaries. So you've heard me discuss before that judgment can be related to frequency. So our reality is based on the frequency that we are living in. It is based on our current vibration. So what is true for me is based on my own vibration and that is my reality. And what is true for you is based on your own reality and your own vibration. So technically everything is true. <clears throat> so if we take a look at judgment, now if I say something that is true for me and it's not true for you because we're not on the same vibration, there's a possibility that you may judge what I'm saying because it's not true for you. And so if we can step into a space where we realize that judgment can just be a difference of opinion, right? A difference of vibration, a difference of reality. And so what I discovered today is I noticed that when I end up judging someone, it's usually coming from a space of love and compassion and where... I want to help them. I want them to see what they're experiencing in their personal reality and how it has them caught in a loop and how it has them living in a lower frequency. So technically a lower reality. So if you look at frequency as levels of consciousness and we have a scale of zero to a thousand, let's say based on uh, David Hop Hawkins um, scale. Now, if the reality that I'm living in, I am noticing things that are triggering people and loops that they're going through. And I'm noticing it because I've already experienced that and learned from that. Now, technically, if you look at the level of consciousness in an egoic way, I am higher on the level of consciousness than these people that I am noticing their um, triggers and their loops on. So that can create a very like uh, arrogant place to come from where like possibly you can step into a space where, well, I'm better than you because I am sitting at a higher level of consciousness a higher level of reality in a higher dimension than you are. But the thing is, is we come here to learn our own lessons. And just because you maybe have experienced and you've learned your lesson in that area, or maybe that wasn't even a lesson for you to learn in this lifetime, it doesn't mean that you are better than the other person. If you are vibrating at... Um, a frequency, let's say, of 500 of love, and someone else is vibrating at a frequency of 300. It doesn't mean that you're better than them, right? It just means that that's the reality that they are living in, and that's completely perfect. And you're living in your reality, and that's completely perfect. We are all here for our own separate evolution, and we're here to help each other evolve. And what I discovered is where it comes to boundaries. So if you've already learned your lesson in that area, in that reality, and you're noticing somebody else is kind of struggling in that area, the boundaries can come into play. The lack of boundaries can come into play when we go ahead and we start analyzing and taking in and consuming what these people are experiencing because you're like, well, I've already learned that lesson. I've already transmuted that trigger. 
So I want to be able to help them. And so when we step into that space where we're trying to figure out, okay, what can I say? What can I do to help this person so they can see the loop, the trap, the program that they're in? Now, all of a sudden we have deleted our our boundaries and now we're stepping into their space. We're stepping into their reality and we're stepping out of our reality And if you want to look at it at a scale of consciousness, let's say you were vibrating at 500 and this person is vibrating at 300 with whatever they're working through, now you've just dropped your frequency down to 300. So boundaries can even just be a matter of you're shifting frequencies because you're starting to align with other people's realities and you're not completely staying true to the reality that you're living in. And I talked about this in another video with boundaries that it's not actually helping them and it's not helping you when you go and you shift down to their, I don't, sorry, I don't want to say shift down. When you go and you shift into someone else's reality, someone else's level of consciousness, it's not serving them. So you being in that space with them, you might feel like this is loving and compassionate and nurturing to be in that space with them to help them work through it, but you're not helping them actually learn their lessons and you are shifting your frequency. And so when you're allowing your, sh- your frequency to shift into someone else's frequency and becoming a part of their reality, then you've completely diminished your boundaries. So next time you notice that, you know, you're having a conversation with someone and you notice that you start judging what they're experiencing Just kind of take a look. Okay, is this something that I've already cleared in my life? Is this something that's no longer a trigger for me? Okay, if that's so, well, there's nothing for me to gain from this to expand my consciousness or my evolution. So let's just step into a space of being very loving and compassionate for exactly where they are. And when you can step into this loving and compassionate space, it's going to allow this other person to shift and evolve in their consciousness. Instead of you coming and aligning with them where they're at and judging them then it's like you're you're both getting locked into this um this frequency versus you staying at your frequency and you're shifting their frequency by staying into a state of by being in a state of love Okay. This also goes into the lines of like gossiping as well so when somebody is talking about someone else and you go and you agree with them, now you're going ahead and you're shifting your frequency to match their frequency, right? And it's very common, like, that's the way humans have thought that we we connect with people. We connect with people by sharing experiences. But sometimes when people, people will, they think, talk about other people and they gossip to try to make themselves feel better. So it's like this false way of raising your vibration, right? So like you think you're raising your vibration because you're feeling better in the moment as you talk about someone else, but you're actually lowering your vibration. And so when you agree with this person who's talking and gossiping about someone else, you are lowering your frequency as well. So it's really just about becoming conscious, right? Like conscious of why we're doing the things we're doing and, you know, taking a look at this judgment piece. Is it you trying to help and heal someone else or is it actually triggering you? So if you're acknowledging that it's something that this person has already experienced and you're kind of going from a judging space of like, I want to help them 
you know, see the truth in this, see your truth in this. Recognize that and just give love and compassion. But if this judgment is triggering some like deep emotions inside of you, then that means there's something inside of you that needs to be healed and is ready to be healed so that you can expand into more love as well. Thanks for tuning in and uh, let me know if this resonates with you. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed the content in this video, just hit the little like button underneath the video and feel free to leave me any comments and questions. I would absolutely love to get back to you. Hit that subscribe button to be notified of all future videos and content coming out.